All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another deep tutorial. Uh, this is gonna be a really good one. We're gonna be talking about how to find stocks that are pulling back to a moving average and screen basically for that setup here in the deep view platform. Um, so if you enjoy this video, please go ahead and leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you haven't given deep view a shot yet, we have a special offer two months for $39 really great deal so definitely take a look at that uh, the link is down below in the description as well as popping up right now uh, so as i mentioned today we'll be building a screen from scratch that looks for stocks that are pulling back to a moving average and today we're going to be using that 21 ema um, and we're going to be adding a few additional requirements uh, and i'll be kind of sharing my process as i'm building a screen uh, to kind of give you insight into my thought process uh, so with that said let's go ahead and uh, clear out the preset that I currently have loaded in deep view and to create a new screen the first step is to click the new screen button uh, this brings up the filter criteria here you can either use uh, the folders right here to find the uh, filters and data points that you want to use or you can also search by the filter uh, so first things first when I create a screen I want to make sure that the stocks that are showing up have a certain liquidity um, as well as a certain kind of uh, momentum character. So what we're gonna do is add a dollar volume requirement, uh, which is the dollars traded on average per day, and also an ADR uh, requirement to make sure that they're not stocks that are lethargic and slow movers. We want to see basically stocks that can move, uh, and we're gonna make sure that there's an, you know, a, a decent amount of um, ADR per day. So let's go ahead and add the liquidity requirement first. So let's type in dollar volume, click that it brings you right to that filter here in deep view and we're going to make sure that it's greater than at least uh 20 million dollars that's kind of a, a standard um, minimum that i like to use there's definitely people who like to see 50 million 100 million but i like to see more in my screens and then i can restrict it further uh, if i notice it's not liquid enough even with this requirement uh, so just with that we've really cut down the number of stocks that are showing up live in the results right here uh, so now let's add that momentum um, character requirement by typing in adr and give that a click and what we're going to do is change this to percent to, to think in percents instead of dollars uh, depends on you know what you would prefer and i like using the 10 day adr and make sure that this is greater than two percent so you know on average uh, the range the average daily range um, in percent is greater than 2% over the past 10 days. And that just makes sure that the stocks that are showing up on the list aren't, uh, you know, super slow movers where you see amazing trend above the 21 EMA and you look at to see how much it gained during that time. And it was 5%. We want to see stocks that can move, you know, 20, 30% during a good trend. Uh, so let's go ahead and click add. Uh, and there we go. We've already restricted it down further. Uh, so now let's actually talk about the meat and potatoes of the screen, which is the requirement that it's within a certain range of that 21 EMA as pulling back to that moving average. So the data point that we want to use here is price, if I can type, versus EMA, SMA, and you can click any of these and it'll be brought to that filter. Uh, it's also located in the price and volume folder. Uh, and we're going to select within uh, this dropdown EMA and select the 21 EMA. Uh, we've also got the option to do, of course, the 50 SMA. I know some, some of you may wanna alter this screen to look for that. That's definitely an option. And you would do it the exact same way that we're doing with the 21 EMA. But we're gonna go ahead and switch this back to EMA and switch this to 21. Now in deep view, you've got a few options for you know each data point. Uh, you can make sure that uh, you know the price versus the SMA is you know over five percent above that SMA, uh, below that SMA using the less filter, or uh, what we're going to do today, which is make sure it's within a range near that twenty-one EMA. So we're going to say it has to be uh, between negative three. Can't type today, and plus three. So basically, if you think about where the 21 EMA is, we're going to look for stocks, you know, between minus three to plus three of that moving average. So let's go ahead and click add. And there we go. We've got about 200 stocks that are meeting that requirement. Uh, but we also want to make sure that there's some certain trend and momentum in the stock. So we're going to add some uh, relative strength criteria. So let's go ahead 
and search for performance ratings. And we're going to use the absolute strength rating, which doesn't do any weighting at all on the values. And we're going to make sure that the three month absolute strength rating is greater than 80. So not too restrictive here, but we want to make sure that there's some sort of, you know, prior strength in the stock before that pullback. Uh, so already we're, we're down to only 41 stocks. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, and if you see here, uh, you've got some familiar names. We've got Coinbase on here, Crocs, um, Lyft, uh, you know, a, a bunch of stocks here. Uh, we've also got some ETFs on here. So if you want to eliminate ETFs from your screen, uh, the data point that you want is you want to search type or you can go to general. We want to make sure to include common stock. Uh, so that will get rid of all the ETFs and leave us with all the stocks in real time that are showing up. And this may update as stocks fluctuate because the market is open as I'm recording this tutorial. Uh, so that's pretty much it. We've got our pullback screen. So let's go ahead and save it. 21 EMA PB tutorial. You can save it into a folder if you'd like to add a description. Uh, we'll go ahead and say uh, stocks within 3% of the 21 EMA and click save. Uh, so now let's go ahead and go through the results and see if there's anything we want to tweak, you know, with the screen. So this is this is perfect. This is kind of what we want to see. AMAT is a previously strong stock and it is close to that 21 EMA. It might not be tight enough right now, uh, but it's bringing up the result we want from basically stocks that are close to that 21 EMA. And this would also have shown up, you know, here as it's pulling back to 21 EMA, there's a trade opportunity here, uh, but right now it's just kind of basing and now moving up the right hand side of that base uh, ball, uh, you know, not quite tight enough. You know, if we look here though, it's still within that 3% that we look for, but it's not quite a pullback. Uh, there's going to be results like this, you know, no screen is perfect. Um, you can make that even more restrictive, you know, within 1% of that 21 EMA if you'd like to. Uh, but I like personally seeing more stocks and just kind of visually, um, you know, kicking out uh, any stock results that I don't want. Uh, CHX, it's previously strong, but is below that 21 EMA. Again, you can make this more restrictive if you want, but it is, you know, approaching that key level. So it could be starting a new uptrend soon. Uh, CLSK, you know, previously strong right at that 21 EMA. So this could be a turning point in the trend. Uh, Coinbase, very similar. Uh, so you can see the types of stocks that we're seeing here, previously strong and now pulling back to that 21 EMA, kind of forming, you know, some type of flag here as it pulls back. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. So from this list, uh, this could be something that you run every day after the market closed or on the weekends, looking for potential trade opportunities in those strong stocks, we've got Hood here, previously strong trend, now right near that 21 EMA as it tries to you know, form out a consolidation here. Um, and we'll see how this resolves itself. Um, you know, Often previously strong stocks that then pull back, uh, that can often be a really good entry point if it forms a nice tight range and pushes off the moving average on volume. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. You can also go ahead and sort the results by different columns. If you wanna sort by price tightness, uh, you can sort by the relative sh um, relative measured volatility, and you'll notice that stocks with very low RMV are forming ranges here. Um, you can see MEDP forming a tight range here. Um, or if we clear out that sort by clicking this icon here, this red broom icon that clears the sort and goes it goes back to alphabetical, we can sort by the absolute strength rating on a one month basis to look for the strongest stocks over the past one month within the screen. And you can say, see you've got a lot of the crypto names here, CLSK, uh, this you know have, has of course moved uh, you know, very significantly over the past few months or so. Uh, so that's basically another way to go through the screen results. Another way that I like to do it is to sort by the industry. So you're seeing kind of group themes coming together and we're seeing actually a lot of oil and gas names um, you know, pulling back to that 21 EMA altogether. A lot of these kind of move in sync um, so it's kind of great to see that that theme there. Um, and you can see in deep view, we highlight the most common result in the screen in blue. So the oil and gas names are the most common um, group that you're seeing show up on the screen. So that's another way to kind of identify rotation, group moves, all of that. 
Um, all right, so that's pretty much it in terms of building a 21 EMA pullback screen. 100% if you want to uh, tweak the filters, make this tighter, um, you know, eliminate the dollar volume requirement, uh, go ahead and do so on your own time. Um, and uh, you can also, of course, change this to the 50 SMA or whatever moving average you find relevant to your process and your time frame. For canceling position traders, you might prefer the 50 day. Swing traders, we often like the little bit shorter term moving averages. You can even make this the 10 EMA. Um, it's kind of all the way up to you. So uh, thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful, please go ahead and leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you haven't yet, uh, check out DFU. Two months for $39 is a really great deal. Uh, we've got so many features and so many more coming in the pipeline shortly. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.